What's going on guys and welcome back to another LS swap video. Today I'm going to be trying to get that AC delete cover mounted up there. So I've already started working on this a little bit. I had to put some rib nuts down in these two spots because it, like I said originally, it didn't fit perfect. And I'm just trying to make it fit a little bit better. So that's all I've done. That's all I've done is just put two rib nuts in. The only thing you guys didn't see on camera. Uh, so I'm going to get this set up there all the screws and bolts into it and see how flat it sets against the firewall because originally it had a gap i don't know probably an eighth inch and i'm not sure which way i want to go about sealing that maybe some weather strip foam or something i'm not sure so let me get a set up there all the bolts and screws into it and see how it's going to set okay it's mounted so this is what i was talking about i don't know if you can see this gap down here i do have a little bit of a gap in there and it's not a huge amount, it's about a half a finger's width, but some of it's really close, some of it not so much. Uh, I'm probably just going to use some, like I said, some foam sealer. But I put a rib nut down here because my fan right here, this doesn't have threads in it. It's just a open hole, so I'm going to go ahead and throw some rib nuts inside of all these holes, that way... I have a thread that I can thread a screw into. And for anybody who doesn't know how a rib nut works, let me show you real quick. So this is a rib nut. Okay, so this, let's see if it'll focus. The thread's down there, when you squeeze the handle, it pulls it in. And what happens is, you've got these little guys right here. It's got threads in it. Maybe you can see it. Okay, so it's got threads in it. So what you do, Put this down is you take this you thread it onto it all the way this is all the way on you just take it place it in where it goes squeeze the handle once you squeeze the handle all the way then you can unscrew this with this end so i can do it with one hand And then once you've unscrewed it, you get the, and I got a set of Allen head uh, screws up there. So, you take a screw, and it now threads in. And that's what I'm going to do all the way around this. I'm just going to insert some uh, rib nuts, that way I have a way to mount my fan. So, let me get that done real quick. Okay, it's mounted. I got my fan on there. It's secured. And it's was angled down, but uh, my plug I'm not entirely sure how I want to run my plug yet. It used to come out all the way over here. I don't know if I wanted a wire to come from there all the way across or how I want to do that yet. Um, might just drill a hole somewhere else, maybe up here. I'm not entirely sure where. I'll find somewhere to drill a hole, maybe. I might just run it. Who knows? I'll figure that out. But it is mounted. So now I just need to go get some foam seal or some type of sealant that I can seal this up with. And then I can mask it and paint it. So let me go get the sealant. Okay, it's done. So I have now put my sealer in there. It's totally sealed all the way around. I put a sealer behind this. And I've got this bolted in. Got that whole delete plate bolted in. Got it painted. And I think now I need to get my motor sitting right there um, attached to my transmission, which is sitting over there, and figure out where I need to put my motor mounts because these factory mounts for the factory motor mounts are not going to work for my motor. So I've got some different motor mounts, and I've got to get it kind of mocked up and figured out as to where I need to drill some holes in my cross member. So... That's going to be the next step, but I'm going to call it a night. So that got done. As long as you get something done, that's all that really matters on a project car. And I came out and I put that in. So as always, guys, leave a like, comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe if you're new to subscribe. Make sure you go get the bell notification. All right, guys, catch you in the next LS Swap video. Thanks for watching.